my channel. You love shiny. Favorite Southern Belle with a cocktail. And it's on what? Period. Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. You love Shiny. It's me, Shiny, your favorite, your favorite Southern Belle with a cocktail. And that's on what? Period. <laughs> All right. I love it. Y'all love it. So we brought it back again. The melon ball. That's what it is. We always start here. Cheers. That thing good. All right, y'all. So you can tell from the title that we have some Southern classics. This is um, roasted garlic and herb chicken wings. We got cabbage. And then we have um, homestyle mashed potatoes. And that's what we have. Of course, we have our melon ball. So if you are new here, please make sure to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave lots of comments. The likes and comments are for everyone. Um, don't forget to hit the bell to be notified every, every single time I, she, me, her, uploads and or goes live. Today is Tuesday. Whether it's Taco Tuesday, Tequila Tuesday, I know it's Tipsy Tuesday. So it's one of my live days. I will see y'all later. I'm hungry. Let's get it in. Oh, yeah. Housekeeping. Uh, don't forget to follow me on my socials. They'll be floating. They will. They'll be floating. As well as my website, which is up here at youloveshiny.com. Use code YouTube for free shipping. So that way you just pay for your items. All right, we got our mashed potatoes. Y'all, I've been gone for a few days while I did go live, though. For Lit Fridays, but I haven't seen y'all since Lit Friday. Some of y'all haven't seen y'all since last Tuesday. This is something my grandmother used to make for us. Baked chicken, cabbage, mashed potatoes. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. It's good. <laughs> it's spicy cabbage. I'm gonna get the chicken wings from back here. So y'all can get them up there. Yeah, it is Women's History Month. We have been talking about this. So we do have a highlighted person that I'm a fan of. You guys are a fan of because one of y'all picked this. This is from Embry Family Entertaining 7. I'll put it up here today. Um, this is one of their requests. So y'all can always, in the comments, um, leave some names of who you would like for me to highlight as one of our Women's History Month people. So... I'll accept one video. One video I do have to do about a man, Mr. Dog himself. Y'all know that's coming, but other than that, it will be all women because it is Women History Month, okay? So today we have an amazing young lady. I think she's amazing. And once I tell you who it is, you, you agree. Mm, let me show y'all this trick on. I use sea salt. Y'all know I love my sea salt. Sea salt, fresh cracked black pepper, Tony Sachery, and Weber roasted garlic and herb seasoning. Fire. <laughs> it's good. So y'all can take that and do what you will. Tony Sachery, sea salt, fresh black pepper, ground black pepper. And Weber, roasted garlic and herbs in there. So not only is this a Southern classic, but this is um, the peanut gallery's choice. Well, one of them picked them. And this is what they chose. I give them both the opportunity to pick dinner. And we take turns. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, that's good. Mm. We like fried chicken, but it's okay to switch it up sometimes. Because I know how to bake some chicken, too. I know how to fry. 
If you've been with me for a while, you know. But I do know how to bake some chicken, cook some cabbage, some collards, <laughs> mashed potatoes, dirty rice. I love to cook, though. I do. I love to cook when I have time. <laughs> when I have a time. So, y'all, in case y'all didn't know, um, Sam's World is a little bit under the weather. So, I want y'all to send her some get well wishes in the comments. And she is a member of the Mukbang Bulls, and I know she's watching. So, get well soon, Sam. So, she can come back and get to her channel, okay? In the meantime, y'all go watch her videos that she is putting up. She's putting up compilations and... You know, all kind of stuff to keep our journal going. So, y'all make sure to go watch Sam's World. The link is always in the description box below, along with the other mukbang bulls. Right here. Make sure you can see. Okay. Yeah. The mukbang bulls links to their channels are always, always, always in the description box of every single... Fact check me. Of every single video. <laughs> Look, y'all left that chunk in there so y'all can know it's real. <laughs> y'all, it's good. It's good. Mm, 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 mm. I'm not even drinking my drink. Cheers. Clink, clink, clink. So y'all leave in the comments some of your southern favorites if you have favorites. <laughs> if you have any. What are some good southern classic meals that you like? This cabbage is fire. That little kick on the end, it's real good. As you can't tell. Even my picky eater ate the cabbage. <laughs> she did not. Mm -mm. If you ask her what kind of vegetable she likes, she's going to say candy yams. <laughs> Alright, girl, that is not a vegetable. Candy yams. She likes potatoes. Eat potatoes. Fries. I don't really eat a lot of vegetables. So what I do is, I just put them on her plate. Because you got to eat everything on your plate. So it might not be as much as I have, but she will. She will <laughs> eat some vegetables. Whether she like it or not. You going to eat some? No. You might not get like a big, like, you know. Serving size, but you you gonna get some. Oh, she may have had this much, maybe less than that, maybe this little bit right here. So maybe a half a cup, but you gonna eat some. Mm. Okay. Let's do our weekend cap because our weekend was jam packed. How was your weekend? Let me know in the comments. So on Saturday, of course I went to work, but this drink is so good, y'all. Yeah, make this if you can. The frozen melon balls in the section with your frozen fruit where you get your fruit for your smoothies. Melon balls are there. Well, at least in my grocery store. The liquor of your choice, whatever you like, and Sprite. Cheers. Quick little, you got the chicken recipe and the drink recipe. Thank me later. Okay, so on Saturday I went to work, of course. Um, I took the peanut gallery, peanut gallery, <laughs> took the peanut gallery to a college fair, and oh, we had so much fun. <laughs> it was so fun. I took them to an HBCU. 
Har du spørg? Mhm. Er det ikke? Er det ikke? Så når jeg har en chance at se all, not even all, but a lot of a lot of HBCU. There was, let me see if I can name some. It was so many. I hope I, I can remember them all. It was so many, y'all. Met some amazing people that happen to be recruits for the colleges. One man, he was so nice and dressed so nice in the college colors. He killed it. He had a business suit, but he had the business suit with the college colors. Morgan State, and if you know about Morgan State, they call it, their colors are royal blue and orange. This man killed it. <laughs> he did. So I was going to talk about him because he actually is a professor at Lamar University in Beaumont, HBCU. But he graduated from Morgan State, HBCU. <laughs> okay. Morgan State, it was Alcorn. Them, them ladies were so nice, Alcorn. Stop playing. <laughs> this was really for my 10th grader, but, and we was early. Everybody kept saying, oh, y'all starting early, yeah. It was really for my 10th grader, but I took my 8th grader because, like, just for her to see, to get a feel for it. I'm going to do the same thing with her, but never heard to start too early, so. I took both of them. We had a good time. Filled the bag up with all kind of um, goodies, paraphernalia from the colleges, flags, all kind of stuff they was giving away that you could just grab on the tables. Packed out. Packed out. I was so happy to see it. Packed out. Literally packed out. The parking lot. It was at the Marriott um, South, which is Javi Airport, our secondary airport. It was packed. And they had a big area out, like a big, um, what I want to call it. It was no cocktails there, but like a cocktail area where you just, you register, you stand there. You, they had a wall full of flat, anyway. So it was Alcorn, Morgan State. Um, yeah, hey, yeah. Y'all know they had PV because I'm in Houston. Just FYI, I live in Houston. They had PV, Morgan State, Alcorn, Frisk, which is a small private college, um, Texas Southern University. I know I live in Houston. Texas Southern University, PV. More house, of course. Y'all know that's one of my top picks, but I'm not the one going to college. He is. Um, they had so, so, so many. Tennessee State, Jackson State. Well, y'all know what Deion Sanders is. Jackson State University. They had some great representatives. Um who really talk about the school. Like, we know Deion Sanders is there, but that's not their claim to fame. It's a plus that he's a head coach, but that's not they, that's not their thing, you know? Oh, Jackson State. I mean, it was so many. I can't remember mine. They had them from all over. Um, The one that, that my son really was hype about, I'm like, oh, my back account finna bleed out. I'm finna be on the street. And he gonna be living large. <laughs> Fam you. The representative was amazing. He was real down to earth. He was real young. So he can relate to my son. It was another one. I think it was Alabama State. Oh, where did Ricky Smiley go? University of Alabama. Is the University of Alabama? University, what's that? I can't remember, but wherever Ricky Smiley went, they also had a representative, a young, um, young professional, real, real poised gentleman representing Ricky Smiley. So I can't remember if it was the University of Alabama. 
or Alabama State? Yeah, put that in the comments where Ricky Smiley went, because that's the school. And he was super, super young. Like, that's a good representation, because my son can relate to that. If he's... Oh, excuse me. He's 16. So, 22. 21, 22, he can relate to him. Kind of. Or he can see himself. So they had a lot of representation. Of course, it was us in there showing out. And then I was probing them, like, because I want my children to hear and see people that look like us. This ain't even a person. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> doing what they're doing. So the people who were representing, so say for instance, they was representing, um, oh, the Alphas was there, the Qs had a representation because they do scholarships. A lot of fraternities, a lot of sororities, a.k.a. y'all know a.k.a. was them. Delta Dollar. Okay. I was probing them though. So I was like, okay, so you got your undergraduate from Morehouse. Where did you get your master's? And they started going off. <laughs> One of them was like, yeah, I got my, my undergrad from here. I got my master's from here. I got my doctorate from um, over here. <laughs> One man was like, I'm a lawyer, but I went to, um, he went to, I can't remember what school it was. One of the schools up there. He went there and then he went to TSU Law School, which Texas Southern is here. I was like, yeah, so I did my undergrad and then I went to law school at TSU. I'm like, yeah. So I asked it. Every table we stopped at, okay, well, you got your bachelor's from here. Where you get your master's? One lady said, I got my bachelor's from here. She was working as um student. What is it called, y'all? I can't remember. I ain't been to college a long time. Well, you have a job at the school and it pays and it helps pay for your tuition. Anyway. She said she was a student trainer. She got her bachelor's as a student trainer. Then when she graduated, they hired her to work there at the college. And then after she worked there for a few years, they offered her a free master's. She did that. Got the free masters, the free bachelors, the free masters. <laughs> Continue to work there and they offer her a second bachelor's. So now she in school for her second. I mean her second master's, I mean. Anyway, the college fair was nice. They went to the rodeo. If we know anything about Houston, the rodeo is like Houston State Trail. So I took them and their friends. Y'all know I'm the taxi, okay? <laughs> I'm that parent. They always ask me. Because they know I'm so yeah. They don't even they don't even ask their moms no more. They ask their mothers, can they go? But they don't even ask their moms for a ride no more. They get in the car and we ride off, child. So then Sunday. And my son was at work because he got a little part-time job. While well, my daughter went to the beach with her friends, live her best life on the boat. I'm like, I ain't told me nothing. I would have took off work. I ain't told me nothing. Baby, the shade. I'm salty about that. Because me and my son could have took off work and got on the boat with them. I guess you want to hang with our friends, but whatever. Whatever. I do allow my children the space to be themselves. Hang with their friends without me over their shoulder. And she was invited. Now, when she was invited to go to the beach, she already had a friend I was spending the night from the rodeo. So the little girl got lucky. The friend who was spending the night at our house got lucky and ended up going to the beach and getting on the boat just because she happened to be at our house. I was glad about that because they all three of them are friends. But the one who spent the night at our house just happened to be at our house and got lucky. They got extra swimsuits, for, you know, for kids. 
and ain't no extra for no adults. But here I make sure we got extra swimsuits with tags on it. Cause I always got kids in my house. Ugh. Anyway. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a long video. I hope y'all enjoy it. Some of y'all have clicked off. I think we might save our person for the next time. Cause this video is gonna be too too long. So yeah, we're gonna save our highlighted person. But next time, because it's a long read. Got front and back, two pages. That's a... <clears throat> I choke. It's a long read. I'm not editing that out. Y'all know I don't edit. That's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. Yeah, we're going to save our person for the next time because we talked about the weekend and everything else. Yeah. Cheers, y'all. Okay, it's strong. Um, shout outs are back. So drop a chicken wing in the comments for a shout out on the next video. We will do our highlighted person on the next video because I know this video is entirely too long. Okay, don't forget to turn on your bell and subscribe. I should have said subscribe first. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your bell on to be notified every single time I see me her uploads and or goes live. It's Tuesday. Don't miss the live, okay? Follow me on my social medias. Shout out my website. Oh, so good. I'm going to eat this fruit while I'm editing. Anyway. Did I say like, comment, and subscribe? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell. It's your favorite type of mail with a cocktail. I got the items now, y'all. I do. So stay tuned for the next video. We will bring our highlighted person back. I will leave this not on this table because I'm like, I can't. I don't like nothing on my table. But um, we will have our highlighted person. It's, it's worth the wait. It is. It is. So, y'all, I am gone. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. I'm going to lay down. Because you're good sis. Got to go to work. Okay. Bye. Thank you for watching. I appreciate y'all. Bye-bye.